Hi everyone, this is Bal Krishna Mishra, Faculty in Department of Journalism and Mass Communication, Technia Institute of Advanced Studies. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on the topic elements of news. We have been talking about making good decisions, informed judgments, about what facts to include in a news article and how much emphasis to give those facts. Once the story is written, how our editor must determine how newsworthy a story is and like a gatekeeper, decide which story will be published and which will not. Let me highlight the features of news elements that decides its worthiness. So first comes timeliness. Timeliness relates to the newness of the fact. The more recent the event or situation, the more likely it is to be newsworthy. Editors deciding between two stories that are fairly equal will select the most recent or timely. Without timeliness, a publication will lose readership. We receive up to the minute news from radio and television and now can get flash news from online newspaper such as Dainik Zagran, Dainik Faskar, The Hindu, Times of India which are updated regularly. Now the second important element is proximity. Proximity simply refers to the nearness of the event. If it happens nearby, it is usually of more interest than if it happens elsewhere. The school newspaper audience, for example, wants to know about events in the school community, just as local, print and broadcast news. Sources cover stories that would not be of interest to readers or viewers in other cities. My dear friends, I want to tell you that national and international news which lacks the element of proximity are usually strong in other elements such as consequence, conflict and prominence. Another key element is conflict. Conflict involves tension, surprise, suspense and opposing forces. Why do strikes make news? Human are always in state of conflict with the environment. Not all conflicts, however, make news. If two freshman boys get into a fight, who cares? But if a freshman boy beats up the school principal, that's news. Mainly because principal is prominent. Next element is Progress. Progress makes news and whether it is local, national or international, determines where and how it is reported. For example, a rise in SAT score in the India, a cure for cancer, the completion of a new mall, a species being taken off endangered list are all progress and therefore newsworthy. Another most important element is prominence. When it comes to news, people are not created equal. True, name makes news, but some name makes more news than others because of their prominence. The famous, infamous and the eccentric have a special appeal for the public. This element explains why the media follows movie stars, interviews governors and ran story after story on President Bill Clinton infidelity with White House intern Monica Lewinsky who become a household word in 1998. Next element is consequence. This element refers to the importance of the event. If what has happened or will happen will have an effect on a large number of people. Then it has more consequence than something that will affect fewer people. In considering consequence, ask yourself how many people will be affected. Proximity also affects consequence. A severe windstorm in one area is of great consequence to those living there, but of little consequence to a more distance state or country. For example, worldwide we hear of terrorism, conflicts in the Mideast, 
economic strife in Russia, droughts in Africa, unrest in Northern Ireland, communication technologies such as television, and now the internet have made our world a small global community of shorts. And therefore, what happens in other countries can be of consequence to us all. We learn of scientific discoveries, health concerns, political unrest and inflation, which may have consequence for millions of people. Next key element is human interest. My dear friend, as we know, human interest stories cause the reader to love or cry, to feel emotion. They tickle the funny bone, cause a feeling of sorrow, pity or amazement. Human interest stories deal with the qualities of love, hate, compassion, sympathy, curiosity, anger, grief. Some journalists describe human interest stories simply by saying they are stories about people and events with which the readers can identify. Because of this, human interest stories can overcome the lack of proximity. For example, in 1987, when baby Jessica fell into a 22-foot, 8-inch wide well, TV viewers throughout the United States was the 58-hour ordeal and cheered when she was rescued. Now a teenager, she says she has no memory of the event. Another element is variety. If the occurrence is unusual, strange, and has never happened before, it is likely to be newsworthy. Variety is closely related to human interest. Next important key element is humor. People like to laugh. So some incident that is humorous is likely to be reported. Make sure, however, that such reports do not become hurtful or inappropriate in content. Dear friends, hopefully this discussion of the elements of news will give you a new perspective as you watch, read or listen to the news. In addition, it should help you better understand and the news judgment made each day by editors and news directors. Now, I encourage you to incorporate those attributes into your thought process when trying to mark it your stories or when trying to understand why the media is pursuing a particular story. In either situation, the knowledge you gain from this topic will help you more.